Well, welcome back. Today is National Fuel Pump Day, and I thought in honor of that, we should work on the fuel system on the truck. Actually, I'm just kidding about the fuel pump day, but it ought to be. I mean, we've got so many special days, why not a fuel pump day? But we are going to work on the fuel system on the truck. Let me show you what I've got. All right, this is a new fuel pump uh, I bought. It's an EP381 AC Delco. Um, this is the fuel sending unit that uh, assembly that came out of the tank. So we're going to be replacing the pump and the filter and whatever else it takes to get this thing uh, put together. So, okay, some of the parts in the new kit, these are the O-rings that go, uh, that seal the unit to the tank itself. So we're going to put those aside for right now. I don't need that right now. Uh, there's a new sock that goes on the bottom, and here's a, a little... I guess it's gasket that holds that in place. Uh, it's got a new wiring plug. Now I checked it with the plug that's already on the, the unit and it fits, but it's kind of loose. And the, the clip on here is a little sprung and it's probably okay, but it could vibrate loose and I don't want to risk that. So since this one works really well, we're going to splice this into the black and white wire, the black and gray wire we're going to splice this into the black and gray wire here just so we have a good connection. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut and solder this. And we're going to use a little uh, marine heat shrink wrap around that to protect the, uh, the soldered connection. I cut the original pigtail off and I've stripped the wire back. Be sure before you solder the connections together that you put your heat shrink on first. Because once it's soldered together, you can't put it on. Those are good. I'll just put the heat shrink over it. Connection's made. Okay, now we're going to remove the old pump. That's really all there is to it. Installing this was simple. There's just two clamps and a piece of high pressure hose that tied together. There's a gasket, a rubber gasket that goes between the, the fuel pump itself and this base plate. You snap on the, the sock on the bottom, the filter. And we've already soldered these connections. Snaps into place and it's ready to go. These are the two fuel lines that are the, the return line and the, the pickup line that came off of the, of the pump itself. Remember back when we were first taking the unit out, we had to disconnect these two hoses. Uh, this was the feed to the motor and the return. That's what these two hoses are. Uh, you weren't able to see this part of the hose. It was up under the body, and there's a little... Uh, loom under there, a plastic loom that snaps four lines together to keep them separated and in place. These are two of the four, and these were the two hoses that turned up that mount to these two screws. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the hydraulic hose shop, and we're going to see about being able to reutilize these metal lines and just cut them just a little bit beyond these rubber fittings and have new high-pressure fuel injection uh, flexible lines installed to it that'll attach to the tank. Okay, we're on our way to the hydraulic hose shop. Let's see what they can do with the hoses we've got to make them work and uh, save some money. You know you're at the right place when you see an OBS out front. Back from Hose Fest, and they did a nice job. These are the lines that ran from the tank forward towards the fuel filter. And this is how they look now. Uh, he reused the attachments here that go to the fuel tank itself, the assembly. 
new lines, and then the fittings here, they cut the old lines uh, about where the other hose was. He welded in new barbs, and even though he knows this is gonna be under the truck and no one's ever gonna see it, he's grounded down because he said he wanted to make them look the same and to look pretty. So, did a nice job. And this hose ought to be uh, capable of handling the uh, pressure since it's capable of handling 300 PSI. We're not gonna get anywhere near that. So now the next step is to put the gas tank back into the truck and install the lines and the pump. The gas tank is back in the truck and everything is hooked up. Uh, there was no problems in getting everything back together. Uh, it all looks factory. And you can see down in there, the two new hoses are connected. So this part of the project is finished. So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.